Here in Japan, we have a unique discipline called my chopsticks. I have my black color chopsticks, my wife's are red, and my daughters are pink and a bit smaller. That is the ultimate in personalization in Japan. At Rakuten, we believe everyone should have their own personalized experience, their own chopsticks. We have a very large variety of businesses across industries from pro sports to e-commerce or financial services. We are so serious about the security and the privacy protection and uh, we did conduct a lot of POCs. And let me tell you, Okta was the best. We used to be doing things in a very traditional way binding everything on premises. You have to connect to the VPN to do everything. We need a more modernized way of working. By moving to a zero trust model, we aim to achieve both diverse working styles and a highly secure working environment. Okta is demonstrating very strong open neutrality. We have to connect everything. With Okta, we're merging it into one identity instead of having to memorize like 10 different accounts and passwords just to get to the day-to-day -day work. We decided to adopt Okta for Workday back in 2019. We want to make sure our, our employees can easily work and also from everywhere. We were able to really ease the way they use HR tools. If our employees need to work from home, they can, and our security team is kind of feeling safer now. Our primary goal is to have alerts before we get an actual incident. Okta provides a very broad set of APIs. This helps us do some automation in the back end. We're always ready to do our best to stay ahead of cyber adversaries. We are very thrilled with the ongoing partnership using Okta as a key security foundation for the entire Rakuten group. Okta gave us the capability to secure with ease. To take care of my work seamlessly. Okta gives me the freedom to perform my duty. My chopsticks type of cultural foundation is very distinct. No one beats us. Please welcome Okta's Senior Vice President, Product Management, Arnav Bose. Let's do this. Hello, everyone. I'm thrilled to be here with you all today. Uh, I've been here at Okta for a little over three years now, but this is my first in-person Octane, my first opportunity to see so many of you all, our customers and partners, in person for the first time. And uh, to make things easy for everybody, I decided to uh, dress in exactly the same way as my profile photo, because um, even in IRL, identity matters. Uh, I hope you've all enjoyed the opening keynote and the Customer Identity Cloud session. It's incredible to, to believe that this is our 10th Octane and our first in-person Octane since uh, 2019. And we wouldn't be here without you, our customers. So I want to thank each and every one of you in the audience today for inspiring us and challenging us every day to build the future of identity. Let's give it up for our customers. We here at Okta believe that identity powers security. And for every security organization that's thinking about their strategy, we believe that they must answer a few simple questions. What are our greatest risks? What are our weakest links? And how do we protect against them? Historically, the industry has told us that people are the weakest link in security, that you have to like, lock people down, lock access down in order to be successful. And it's not without cause how many times has a breach been tied to a reused password or phishing texts that come from a coworker or maybe even your CEO? This is actually a, a real phishing attempt that Okta employees face that we thwarted. And uh, pro tip, Todd is never going to text you asking for access to an app. <laughs> so, so remember that. <laughs> 
Historically, we've been told, again, to lock access down, to lock people down. But what does this cause? This slows down the whole business. You end up with 15 character passwords, frequent MFA prompts, users locked out of their accounts, and red tape just to get access to apps. Everything is slowed down to a crawl. So how do we start to think differently? It starts by thinking differently about our people. NTT Data is one organization that is thinking differently. They are a global IT services and consulting company with over 140,000 employees in more than 50 countries. Prior to adopting Okta, they were losing a ton of productivity due to bad workforce login experiences. It was clear that NTT needed a different identity and access management strategy. Let's take a look. I've always been a curious person, and being in security, it's all about curiosity, finding out what's next. Identity is something I have to pay attention to differently today than maybe I did before. I'm protecting intellectual property, and that's where the crown jewels are. Great, but the first question you're going to ask about protecting the crown jewels is, who should have access? Why should they have access? When should they have access? We're a 24 by 7 shop in numerous countries around the world supporting thousands of people. So identity management is key to everything that we do. Believe it or not, salespeople forget their passwords. I know that's a shock, but they do. They got frustrated when they couldn't get into our CRM systems and other tools. And you don't want that. Frustrated salespeople don't go make good sales. There is one time I can remember hitting sign on five times, right? We had people spending 17 minutes a day logging into applications. Globally for us, you add that up across 140,000 people, that's a lot of time. A lot of time we could be spending with clients. I think it was 2018 that we started the Zero Trust journey and having Okta play the foundation role of that Zero Trust journey has made it easy. 40% of the highest ticket class we had was eradicated through our Zero Trust journey. Anything that simplifies our lives, bring it. I'm, I'm ready for it. Our CRM is connected to roughly 30 other applications. Single sign-on is used to access almost every one of those third-party applications as well through Okta. Okta gives me the freedom to adapt. And for our business, with growth and acquisitions, having that adaptability, that's been a huge win for us. Okta and the M&As has allowed us to scale so fast. The longer you don't integrate the people into those tools, the more those people feel separated. Am I gonna have a laptop? Do I have a login? Do I understand my password? Come day one, those acquisitions have access to what they need to get their job done to be part of the NTT data family. We had to allow our workforce to be productive anywhere, at any time, on any device. Knowing that we are going to base our security paradigm around our person, right? The identity itself is literally the lifeblood and the brain of how we're going to live up to the trust that we built with our clients. If the CIO is stagnant or not thinking about a partner like Okta or a zero trust solution, uh, they need to go find another job. Okta gives me the freedom to not worry about security. Part of that identity is in our HR system and I want that protected. I have a whole slew of things I worry about on my daily operations call. But you know, the great thing about it is we don't talk about Okta. You know why? Because Okta's up 24 seven. Wow. <laughs> so what do we hear from that customer? We heard a, salespeople forget their passwords. Uh, B, we heard about the freedom to adapt, the freedom to not have to worry about security. We hear these stories time and again as customers try to adopt zero trust initiatives to adapt to the boundaryless world. Todd and Shognik introduced the concept of the boundaryless world this morning in the opening keynote. But let's talk a little bit about what does the boundaryless world mean in the context of workforce identity. First, it means that the very definition of your workforce has changed. You now need to think about employees, contractors, business partners. Your entire supply chain 
needs to be successful, needs to be safe, needs to be protected in order for you to be successful. Second, your workforce is working from more locations and more devices than ever before. They are truly boundaryless in terms of where and how they need access. And finally, you are no longer just thinking about protecting access to cloud applications like Salesforce or Office 365 or on-prem apps like Oracle EBS, but you also need to think about critical infrastructure. That entire technology stack needs to be part of your security strategy. And in this boundaryless world, we need to empower, not lock down our people. Because people, in fact, are not the weakest link. We believe here at Okta that people are your greatest asset. They just need a system that is secure by default. It is time to free your workforce to safely access any technology. And this starts with identity. When you free your workforce to safely use any technology, identity becomes an enabler. That's how you end up with agile workforces and high-powered IT teams. When, I, when identity belongs to you, you can transform the modern workforce from a security risk to your organization's greatest asset. We will show you today, that's what this entire session is about, about transforming your organization into your greatest asset. We will show you today how to empower every member of your workforce from their first day to their last, ensure that they can work from anywhere and in any device, and that they can access any resource, whether it's an application or a back-end privileged resource. And now, I want to sort of dive a bit deeper into Workforce Identity Cloud and invite my colleague George Kwan onto the stage to showcase how we are helping organizations take an identity-powered approach to security. Let's give a warm round of applause to George. Thanks, Arnav. Wow, look at this crowd. How are you all doing? <laughs> Woo! This is great. It's great to have you all here. If this is your first Octane, raise your hand. Let's get to another crowd here. Awesome. Wow, look at that. A lot of first timers. Welcome to Octane. It's great to have you. And if you're returning and coming back, it's great to see you again. This is my ninth octane now, right? Wow, nine octanes. It's been quite a journey, quite a journey. And what I love about this conference is the opportunity for all of us to come together, this meeting of the minds where we get to reflect, share notes, and together define the future of identity. I've been reflecting over the past few days and thinking back to my very first octane. At the time, we were all dealing with this monumental rise of SaaS in the cloud. In the hallways of Octane, we were discussing, how do we manage this? How do we secure this? Together, we tackled this challenge and developed an SSO and MFA solution that not only secured our organizations, it was something our end users loved. It made them more efficient at work. They gave us high fives in the hallways we were heroes of our organization. Fast forward to today, we're facing new challenges. As Arnab mentioned, new boundaries are being lifted. We must extend access to all of our users on every device from every location and give them access to all the resources they need to do their job. These are tough new challenges, but we're going to face them again together. And as we do so, I'd like to remind everybody we must continue to empower our workforce, not hold them back. OK, what does this future look like in this boundaryless world? As a product leader, I've learned that when you want to understand the future, you talk to your customers. All of you have the best lens into what the future holds. Take a customer like Chewy. Chewy is an Okta customer that's always pushing boundaries. They're an online pet store that during the pandemic saw phenomenal growth. Check out this stat. One in five households, one in five US households during the pandemic adopted a pet. Can you imagine? To meet this demand, Chewy needed to rapidly scale its workforce. And the IT team 
set its sights on improving the onboarding experience. They envisioned an experience where an employee would get a new laptop, open the lid, sign in with Okta, and go. And they'd have access to everything they needed. With the help of Okta, they accomplished this vision. And in doing so, they took an onboarding experience that took hours, days, and took it down to just 30 minutes, from unpackaging the Mac to getting the employee up and running. Incredible, incredible. To meet this demand, uh, for customers like Chewy, they were able to experience a great onboarding experience. And all of you deserve this onboarding experience as well. For all of your employees, your contractors, your business partners, whether they're in the office or remote or on any device, they deserve this type of experience. Luckily for all of you, we've been hard at work on the Workforce Identity Cloud to make this possible, to prepare all of you for this boundaryless world. OK, enough talking to show you what's possible with the Workforce Identity Cloud. I'd like to invite the demo team up on stage. Anna, Alvin, Ryan, take it away. Hi, everyone. I'm Ryan, an IT manager at MediaX Media. In the past few years, our company has moved increasingly towards supporting remote work. But I pride myself on ensuring that all of my users, no matter who or where they are, have the best experience when they're working with MediaX Media. We love Okta, especially its promise to make passwords a relic of the past. That's why we've made Okta a crucial part of our initiative to retire passwords in an effort to improve our end users' experience without compromising security. But the hiring spree the Media X Media has been on lately has been crazy and has put me and my team under a ton of pressure. We just hired Anna, a new engineer on our SecOps team, as well as Alvin, a consultant from SX12 Consultants. They're going to help prevent us from drowning under our current workload, but in order for them to do so, we need them to have seamless yet secure access to the Media X Media resources that they work with as part of their jobs. Let's see how Okta can help us out. First, for my employees, I'm going to disable the use of passwords entirely, requiring stronger authenticators like FIDO2 WebAuthn. Additionally, I'm going to specify the authenticators that my users can self-enroll in like the YubiKey 5C model that every single employee gets in their onboarding kit. Now, let's ship Anna her company-issued laptop in YubiKey and see how it goes. I am so excited to start working at MediaX Media Co. And they even sent me a welcome package to get started. I've already opened up and fired up the laptop, so it's ready to go. But let's see what else they put in this welcome package. A welcome note, that's very thoughtful. My very own MediaX Media Co. hoodie. I cannot wait to wear this. And finally, my very own YubiKey. How secure. <laughs> so let's see what this welcome note has to say. It says, Dear Anna, we're so excited to have you at MediaX Media Co. They're excited too. Your YubiKey has been pre enrolled in Okta. To complete onboarding, plug in your YubiKey open a browser to the home page, and complete the flow. Now, they're making this sound really easy. But if this is anything like onboarding at my last job, it's going to take a few days for me to actually get access to all the applications and resources that I need. Well, I might as well kick it off now so that hopefully I can get started with work later next week. First things first, let's plug in this YubiKey. OK, I have my browser open to the home page. It's Okta. And my username's even pre-populated. That's pretty cool. I'll click Next. All right, I need to tap my YubiKey. And I'm in. Wait, I didn't set a single password or a security question. And look at all the applications that I have access to already. I think I'm ready to go with work now. This has been the best onboarding experience I have ever had. Time to get to work.
Anna's ready to go, and that took no time at all. But what about Alvin? He's a contractor, and he doesn't get a fancy company-issued laptop or YubiKey, but I still want him to be as jazzed and enthused as Anna was and whenever he's working with MediaX Media. Fortunately, Okta Verify with FastPass has me covered. It lets me roll out a passwordless experience to any of my users on any device, so I'll require that. But if he's going to use just any device to access our data, I need to make sure that we're secure. That's why I've used Okta to configure a device assurance policy that specifies the minimum requirements any device he uses has to meet, such as a minimum OS version, device encryption, and biometric support. And if he doesn't meet those minimum requirements when using one of our more sensitive apps, like our internal data archives, then he won't be granted access. Let's see what happens when he uses his SX12 laptop. I love contracting for MediaX Media Co. Now, they've asked me to install and register Okta Verify to access our applications. So I'll go ahead and do that. To save time, I've already downloaded installed and registered Okta Verify on this XS12 device. So all I should need to do is sign in using FastPass, and I'll use my Touch ID here, and I'm ready to go. That was pretty streamlined. I'm off to a great start. Looks like I have a few applications that I can use, and I can even get help from IT support if I need it. Well, I've got a ton of work to do, and I need to dig into the data ASAP. I wonder if I can find some of those answers that I'm looking for in the MediaX Media data archives. Huh. I can't access the MediaX Media data archives. According to this notification, my device doesn't meet the required checks. If that would make sense, it has been a while since I've upgraded to the latest OS. Looks like MediaX Media requires this device to have the latest patches installed to access the data. Alvin was spot on. He was blocked from accessing our internal data archives because his device didn't meet our minimum requirements. Just like that, I've used Okta's flexible policy engine to configure and roll out a passwordless experience for all of my end users, both my employees like Anna and contractors like Alvin. Plus, with Okta Device Trust, I was able to eliminate the risk of users accessing my data from unmanaged devices. Thank you so much. Back to you, George. Wow, what an amazing demo. What do you think? Let's give them another round of applause. Awesome stuff. What we just saw was frictionless, secure onboarding for your entire workforce, your employees, contractors, partners, powered by things like FastPass and pre-enrolled YubiKeys. FastPass is my favorite example of the best of both worlds, where you don't have to choose between user experience and security. With FastPass, enrollment is easy, login is easy, and as we announced this morning, we've made FastPass phishing resistant. So this means as your users adopt and use FastPass, they're actually helping to protect your organization from threats and phishing attempts. And my favorite part, FastPass works for everyone on every device. Every major platform is supported from Mac, Windows, Android, it's your choice. FastPass is already powering over 4 million authentications a month and growing, and being used by leading organizations like NTT Data, Rubrik, and Intercom. You should all give it a, a try today. Now, Anna's onboarding experience was a little bit different. She was a remote employee. She got a laptop in the mail with a YubiKey and a hoodie. Her experience was powered by a YubiKey. We support this in the product today. We've added the ability to pre-enroll those YubiKeys to make that onboarding experience even more seamless. And we're going a step further. Okta and YubiCo will be working together on a packaged offering to further eliminate friction from the procurement 
enrollment and delivery process to support these types of remote onboarding scenarios. You're going to really love what you see here. Stay tuned for more. Yes. Woo. OK, passwordless, phishing resistant authentication. For all your users, employees, contractors, partners, on any device from any location. I hope you're starting to feel a little bit better about tackling this boundaryless world. But our journey continues. Our journey through this boundaryless world continues, and we have to consider more than just authentication. We have to consider that all of our users, no matter where they are, need access to a growing range of technology, from SaaS, on-prem apps, to infrastructure, to even critical infrastructure. Consider an engineer on your team. They come into work every day and access email, chat, the HR app, and then need to spin up a cloud server or container on demand, wherever they work, at home, in a cafe. We have to make this easy, no matter what resources our users are accessing. We have to make this easy. But we also have to keep our apps and infrastructure secure. Consider that 80% of breaches target servers, according to this year's Verizon's Data Breach Investigations Report, 80%. Again, we have a choice in managing this. Do we take the old approach? Do we lock it down, throw away the key? This isn't very empowering. This isn't very freeing for that engineer. At Okta, with the Workforce Identity Cloud, we envision a future where every user can access all the resources they need, and it can be secure and easy. OK, you know what time it is again. More demos. Uh, to show you what's possible, the Workforce Identity Cloud, I'd like to welcome back our demo team. Anna, Ryan, Alvin, take it away. When you last saw Media X Media, Alvin had just been blocked from accessing our internal data archives because his device didn't meet our requirements. Let's see what he tries next. I was blocked from accessing the data that I need in the MediaX Media Data Archives. These security folks think they're too smart. I'm not going to let that slow me down. You know what? I know I can get into an AWS account with DB Access because I was just in there yesterday doing some maintenance work. Let me see if I can access that data directly from AWS. I'll just need to run this script. Here we are. Now that I'm in AWS, I'll just run this script to extract all the available data. Might be more data than I need, but better only comb through this only once, right? I'll comb through more of this on my own time. Hmm. This alert from AWS Guard Duty looks really severe. Fortunately, Okta Workflows has made both our SecOps team and our IT team more effective by enabling us to listen for risk signals across any web service. Then, Workflows empowers us to automate a response, both in Okta and other systems. In this case, I'm going to have my flow trigger an urgent message to our SecOps team in their shared Microsoft Teams channel so that they investigate immediately. I'll also use it as an opportunity to review everything else Alvin has access to to make sure he can't do anything else that he shouldn't. Now, let's see how Anna responds to this particular incident. Uh-oh, this notification doesn't look good. It looks like someone just tried to exfiltrate data from MediaX Media Co. I should definitely look into this. But in order to do that, I'm going to need access to a shared account on AWS. Let me request access. Cool, it looks like I can do this right in Microsoft Teams. All right, I'll just let Okta know what access I need. I need access to AWS and in. This feels more like chatting with a coworker than requesting access to a resource. Nice, Okta figured out exactly what I need. I'll continue. I'll provide a little more details so my approvers know why I need this access and submit. That was easy. Now, I hope my access gets approved just as quickly, because this seems pretty urgent to investigate. Anna submitted her request in Teams. And at MediaX Media, we've configured Okta so that both her manager and our infrastructure team need to approve before any privileged access will be granted. Nice. 
my manager and our infrastructure team already approved my access, and it was automatically granted. I have access to the right resource, and ooh, I better get to investigating because I'm only going to have this access for one hour. And nice, we'll have a recording of the entire investigation in case we need to reference it later. So let me go ahead and connect. All right, I see the new resource in Okta. Connect again, and I'm in. Logged into AWS into our shared account. You know what this means? It's time to start investigating. Anna was able to request and receive access to a shared infrastructure, a privileged resource. In this case, a shared AWS account. On top of all of that, nobody involved had to do anything in Okta. All requests and approvals took place entirely in Microsoft Teams, minimizing all disruptions. Plus, since access was granted through Okta privileged access, I know the credentials were securely vaulted and never exposed. Also, Okta is recording her session, so I'll have a paper trail of all of her actions. But while Anna investigates the details of this particular security incident, Okta's unified workforce identity cloud has taken this opportunity to increase our security posture and ensure that Alvin only has access to the resources that he needs. And here, I've been tagged as a reviewer in this campaign. Clicking in, I can see the details of the security incident. That's good. All of the resources that Alvin has access to, getting better. And for each resource, I can see when he last accessed it, when it was last reviewed, and when he was granted access in the first place, as well as the roles and permissions he has within that resource. This looks like exactly the information that I need to make a decision. So I better start reviewing. Let's take a quick recap of everything you saw in this demo. This investigation was triggered and initiated using Okta workflows, leveraging signals from across Okta and other web services to automate our response. Okta privileged access and Okta identity governance put identity at the heart of security ensuring that only the right users had access to the right resources at the right time. Of course, only if accessed from the right devices. And it didn't matter whether that resource was a SaaS application or shared infrastructure, like in accounts in AWS. Okta's unified workforce identity cloud enables organizations to truly adopt a zero trust strategy and follow the principles of least privileged access. Thank you so much for joining us for this demo. I'd like to hand it back to George. Nice job, team. Crushing it again. Folks, these are live demos. Let's give them another round of applause. What do you think? Good stuff. Anna, Ryan, you did an amazing job making sure that Alvin didn't wreak some havoc there. But my favorite part of the demo was when Anna needed access in the heat of the moment to respond to that incident. It was just a few chat messages away. Just a perfect example of how usability, user experience can drive better security outcomes. Now, to put together this type of end-to-end -end experience typically requires stringing together multiple solutions from PAM, IGA, IAM. With the Workforce Identity Cloud, you get all of this in one unified platform. One unified platform. What do I mean by that? One unified platform means one set of coherent experiences for your users, whether they're requesting access, approving, or logging in. It means shared identity and access signals across the products to drive more intelligence around access decisions. And it means one single pane of glass for all your users and all your access to manage least privilege. Let's break down the components of this unified platform. to provide, uh, enforce least privilege to all your critical infrastructure, we built Okta Privilege Access. Okta Privilege Access will be EA Q2 of next year. It's just around the corner. I know you've all been very patient. Just around the corner. Thank you. Okta Privilege Access provides you passwordless, zero trust access to infrastructure like servers, 
Kubernetes, and more. And it layers on top of that compliance and security controls to manage even your most privileged infrastructure, like root and admin accounts. It's truly a modern solution. We can't wait to get it into your hands. And to provide access requests across all your resources and maintain standing privileges over time, we have Okta Identity Governance. Yeah, Woo. love it. Okta Identity Governance is GA in North America today. It's GA today, but we're going to make it globally available by end of the year. Globally available by end of the year. I know our many international customers have been waiting for that. We're really excited to get that in your hands. With Okta Identity Governance, you have all the governance controls that you're familiar with, from access requests, access certifications, to reports. But you're also getting a product that actually empowers and enables your users. It does this by meeting them where they are in tools like Slack, and as you saw in the demo, now Microsoft Teams. It provides critical context on identities and their access to drive more efficient and intelligent access decisions. And because it's pre-integrated with lifecycle management and workflows, we're able to drive more automation in the end-to-end -end lifecycle of your users and their access. This is just the beginning. Make sure to tune in to our roadmap sessions to learn more about what's next. OK, I want to take this moment to thank our many early customers of Okta Identity Governance. Customers like Kindrel. Kindrel is a multinational IT and services provider spun out of IBM. They manage over 90,000 employees and contractors worldwide, 90,000. They're on a mission to simplify and streamline their architecture, to take 22 di disparate services, 22 different identity services, and simplify them down. They're doing this with the help of Okta Identity Governance and our unified platform. I want to thank Kindrel and the many other early Okta Identity Governance customers for your support along the way. Your input was invaluable to the development of this product. Your fingerprints are all over it. OK, yeah, thank you. What do we talk about today? Every user, every device, every resource. No compromise between user experience and security. The world has changed a lot since my, last, uh, my first Octane. And new boundaries are being lifted. But our commitment to enabling all of you to harness the power of identity to both secure and empower your workforce has not changed. That's it for me, but we're not done yet. I'm going to get Arna back on stage for a few more surprises. Thank you. <laughs> Let's give it up for George. Wow. Yeah. What you've heard so far is how we're enabling phishing-resistant, passwordless sign-up and sign-in, and a unified solution across access, privilege, and governance. And that's this vision of Okta's Workforce Identity Cloud. But all of these tools, all of these products, are built on the platform. And there are three key platform services that power the Workforce Identity Cloud. Our no-code automation service, Okta Workflows, are directory services that enable you to connect to identities, whether on-prem or in the cloud, and insights that power reporting, logging, telemetry, and more. And my favorite part of the platform is Okta Workflows. We launched Okta Workflows in 2020 for lifecycle management use cases to enable you, our customers, to use clicks, not code, to customize your joiner, mover, lever flows. Last year, we took that and we empowered every single Workforce Identity Cloud customer to use workflows. We made workflows available for every identity use case. What's really exciting about workflows is learning what customers are doing with the product every single day. We've got customers like Sonos who are telling us that it no longer needs a person with a technical background to customize processes with Okta workflows. They can solve IT problems super easily, and workflows are just like Lego blocks. We've got a customer like Croix Rouge Francais, the Red Cross of France, who's using Okta workflows to set up 
temporary accounts with access to key tools within five minutes or less. This has totally transformed the way in which they respond to emergency uh, incidents going forward. In the boundaryless world, empowering everybody, making your workforces agile, making your IT high-powered is super critical. And Okta Workflows is a way in which you can supercharge that entire experience. To go ahead and take things even further, this year, right now, I'm excited to announce that we have made it possible to use workflows for security use cases. We are launching a slew of new security connectors and a slew of new pre-built security templates. Let's welcome back Ryan and the demo team to show you another live demo of Okta Workflows in action. Hey, everyone. Okta Workflows has been critical for my IT team as we've scaled to meet the needs of our rapidly growing business. I'm really excited about all these new templates that Workflows is launching, visible here on the homepage, group by use case. Let's take a look at this new security operations use case that Okta has been raving about, which can help my company protect our data, respond to risk signals, and more. Looking at a particular template, I can see an overview, as well as a nice little description and flowchart. And with just two clicks, I can add it to my organization. There you go. I've got a template that, upon events like suspicious activity being reported by one of my end users, can be used to lock their device. And even better, I can go in and use Octa Workflow's easy to use, no code UI, to add more actions and customization without writing any code. This is amazing and exactly what we need. Thanks. Back to you, Arnab. Awesome. Thank you, Ryan. Another live demo, guys. Everything you've seen so far in this keynote, live demos on real code. We had six laptops, multiple backups. And thankfully, the demo gods have been kind to us today, and things have gone well. This is, that was our final like, live demo. Um, what you've seen so far is Workflows is making it super easy to use clicks.code automation to protect your company, whether it's protecting company data, responding to risk signals, or extending security audit and reporting. But what we believe is every single workforce identity customer should use and leverage Workflows. You've seen the power of templates. It helps you get over the fear of the blank canvas and gets you going with pre-built use cases. But we're also super excited about Workflow's Connector Builder. Connector Builder is in early access today and will be generally available by Q1 of 2023. And it's a tool within the Workflow's product that lets you use, again, clicks.code to connect to any application, whether it's custom or public, or any API, to let you deliver more with Okta Workflows. And what's super amazing about Workflows is the community, our customer community, what you all are building with Workflows every single day and sharing with each other. At Octane this year, we have our very first Okta flow case. It's happening right after this session. And you can hear from customers like Zoom, Wyndham Hotels, Netflix, and more to see what use cases they have built using Okta Workflows. And finally, if you weren't aware, every single Okta Workforce Identity customer gets five free flows. You get a flow, and you get a flow, and you get a flow, and you get a flow. Go try workflows today. That's, that's the message. All right. <laughs> so again, let's, let's recap all the product stuff you've been hearing. Secure, passwordless login, unified workforce identity solution across access, privilege, and governance, all backed with the power of our low-code automation tool, Okta Workflows. Identity can transform your workforce from your weakest link to your strongest asset. And now, I'm excited to turn things over to a leader in financial information and analytics, s and Global, to tell us how adopting a modern identity strategy has helped drive their business transformation. Let's check it out. s and Global takes a lot of pride in accelerating the progress in the world. Our business is data and analytics and ratings and indices. For us, identity is a mechanism that helps us to deliver that essential intelligence to our customers and also for our employees. 
and that's one of the reasons why Okta Access and Identity Management is really, really important to us. One of our core values is discovery. You have to explore what is the art of the possible, and having Okta as a platform made the discovery seamless for our employees and analysts. All right, let's give it up for Swami Krochalakota, CIO of S&P Global. Welcome, Swami. It's great. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. Um, I thought we could get started by maybe talking a little bit about S&P S &P Global. Like, tell us about the company. Yeah, no, first of all, uh, thanks for having us here. So much energy of seeing so many people. Um, you know, we are, humans are really people-centric, so I got so much energy coming here. I'm glad I'm here. Um, SMP Global is one of the largest financial information services company. We provide essential intelligence to all the participants in the financial industry. So almost all of you, if you have a financial portfolio, either you're directly or indirectly customers of SMP Global. Yeah, so like lots of impact globally. It's a 160-year-old company, um, lots of different like divisions. Um, one thing that you and I spoke a bit about was uh, the modernization journey that S&P Global has been on and that identity has been a big part of it. Can you tell us in the audience what, what role identity played in the modernization journey for S&P? Right. See, when you have a company that is 160 years old, you know, and many companies, um, some of you I'm sure uh, have uh, large uh, heritage, you will inherit a lot of technology that was built over time. And then um, some of the policy, security policies, were also developed uh, over time. So the transformation journey, the digitization journey that we have, if I were to give you an analogy for a CIO, it's like a complex multi-dimensional Rubik's Cube and then each phase has a particular strategy. So our digital transformation journey has, you know, agile development was one of the phase, cloud and cloud adoption as the second one, and cybersecurity as the third one, and then we have a couple of other pillars as well. Internally at SMP Global, each of these transformation journeys, we version them. So we'll say agile 1.0, agile 2.0, so that we can all manage and track, much like you do with Rubik's Cube, you cannot do cybersecurity or identity without getting some of the components of agile development. Uh, but the goal of our digital transformation is really all about how can we deploy uh, and deliver value to our customers in a scalable way, secure way, and at speed. Scalable, secure, and at speed. And I love the analogy of the Rubik's Cube that's like not just a normal one, but four-dimensional. Uh, my nephew is 12, and he's like really into Rubik's Cubes, and he sends me these videos of him solving them in 10 seconds or less. Right. So the next time he does that, I'll send him to you. Maybe he can help you out with a four-dimensional right. one. <laughs> and if you're a good CIO, you should be able to look at the half-completed cube and then complete it, uh, you know, so that, that's an important skill. Totally. Skill. I, I yeah. think he needs that, um, that sort of next level of uh, complexity. Right. <laughs> um, one other thing that you and I talked a bit about was um, changing the point of view from S&P Global's perspective, right? Uh, thinking about identity and access management not just as a point solution, not just as a way to do SSO, but as a foundational part of your technology strategy. So maybe you could tell the audience a little bit about, um, you know, why, why did you make it a st strategic concern and how did that help? All right. See, as part of our transformation, we took a strategy where we said we we'll lift and shift all of the workloads to the cloud and then transform there. And then when we are trying to raise the bar on cybersecurity and protection, what we noticed is um, every time I have to have a new requirement, such as if I want to have a MFA, you know, it's another product, right? And if I want to have behavioral detection, it's another component that I have to add on to it. So I didn't want to have a piecemeal solution I said um, one of the first things that we have to do is to transform our identity and what we do and select a provider which has all of those functionality well integrated as opposed to me having to piecemeal. Otherwise, uh, our teams have to manage a lot of complexity. 
So one of the cloud transformation that we have done is to go with a cloud uh, native provider for identity, which have all of these functionalities stitched together, which enable us to deliver value to our developers and our analysts quickly. That makes a lot of sense. So I'm hearing cloud native, I'm hearing a unified solution across all use cases. So right. you're kind of like telling a bit of our vision back to us, which is amazing. Um, You've also undergone a series of M&A events. Uh, you undertook a recent acquisition of IHS Market, and typically these events tend to be quite complex and time-consuming from an identity point of view. Can you tell us how it went uh, from, an, from, from, uh, from the point of view of S&P right. Global? See, whenever you do, when two public companies or any two companies coming together with a merger, all the stakeholders have huge expectations. Your employees have high expectations that you want seamless integration. And employees also want to get access to each other's applications very, very quickly. And of course, our customers want to see more products integrated um, and delivered quickly. So we said that uh, in order for us to do that, we would use the Octos Universal Directory on day one. So unlike many mergers that I have done, on day one, we were able to deliver all the integration that's required so both companies' employees can reach each other's systems. And now, uh, over the last six months, and the merger only completed like eight months ago, um, and we have, I think, over 400 applications integrated through Okta very quickly so that we can provide that seamless access to, to both, both participants. Also, one of the, one of the important um, metric for me is also the productivity of the developers. Mm -hmm. um, if you look at um, the number of steps that it takes to bring in an employee or bring in an application to this uh, identity uh, infrastructure, um, it's easier now. It's that true frictionless, seamless. Uh, it's almost like an invisible experience, uh, which has huge uh, developer productivity for us. Wow, that's a pretty amazing story, right? Uh, uh, integrating an entire acquisition, 400 applications, getting it up and running in eight months or less. Right. That's super cool to hear that you were so successful with UD. Um, maybe going on to another aspect, which is end user experience. How did S&P Global balance the user experience initiatives while maintaining a strong security posture? Right. Maybe you could talk to us a bit about that. Yeah, yeah. I think um, we all spend a lot of time in the industry where security is seen as, and if you have to do security, you also have to compromise on their experience. Uh, you know, that's like, I think, uh, like one of the speakers have mentioned earlier, uh, it is a balance. You know, to me, I, I like this word frictionless, um, but I think the best frictionless experience is to make it invisible, mm -hmm. right? So, so for us, um, uh, because we have everything embedded through one platform, uh, we feel like from a systems experience and employee experience perspective, it has been very invisible to, to all of our employees. That's amazing. So like lots of really interesting learnings across this journey, right? One was figuring out this four-dimensional Rubik's Cube. The second thing is like thinking about identity as a strategic initiative, figuring out M&A use cases. Um, maybe in closing, are, are there any like words of advice that you would have to folks in the audience who are maybe considering starting their journey with Okta or starting a major initiative like this, like a modernization initiative, what would, what would your guidance and coaching to them be? Yeah, a couple of things. Um, I would say that um, whenever you have a large uh, IT transformation, you need to understand the interdependencies. Uh, otherwise, you will overwhelm the employees. Uh, and then you have to do it methodically. At SMP Global, we actually version these things so that uh, we can do the appropriate uh, change management. I would say uh, that's uh, number one. And number two, you know, business has priorities, right? You know, everybody wants to be identified and they want to do the identity, identity layer, but they want to spend time on adding business value. So the fact that uh, we would make it easy for your developers to refactor their application so that they can come onto a standards compliant platform with a roadmap has to be very, very important. So you don't have to sell, I didn't have to sell a whole lot to our employees. When once we showed that this is what uh, a platform can do, you know, we have more demand coming our way saying that, look, we would want to convert our application to the Okta platform so that we can make it uh, easy. You know, 
developers uh, love it because they, you know, we used to have like a three, de you know, development environment that has to be shared across hundreds of uh, Scrum teams. Now with Okta, everybody can have their own uh, mini development en environment at no cost, which means that they can deliver faster. So I think um, most of the time, whenever you are trying to do something transformational, you have to sell something hard. But here, the functionality and the features and, and the delivery speed uh, and their own productivity in itself uh, makes a good business case. It's a super powerful story. Uh, I want everybody to thank Swami for spending some time with us here today. Yeah. Thank you for the feedback. All right. Thank you. Enough. Thanks again. Yeah, appreciate it. Let's give it up for Swami. All right, now I'm going to bring it back to the start of the session. At the start of the session, I posed a few simple questions. What are our greatest risks? What is the weakest link? And how do we protect against them? The threat landscape is a challenge. Threats are constantly evolving. And I hope today you notice that people are not your weakest link. They are, in fact, your greatest asset. And we, all of us here in this room, can help harness that potential. We can harness that potential by building a system that's secure by default, that covers every employee and everybody in your workforce, from employees, contractors, to business partners, empowers them to work from every device, no matter where they are, and enables them to access any resource. Okta's Unified Workforce Identity Cloud has you covered across all those bases. The boundaryless world is pushing the definition of identity and challenging every one of us every single day. It's forcing us to rethink everything. But when your organization's identity strategy is secure by design, and everyone can safely use any technology, that freedom that freedom is what we mean when we say identity belongs to you. Thank you, everybody. That's it for today. Thanks again. <laughs>